Hi guys, in this video, uh, we'll talk about access shortcut keys uh, in the continuation of uh, part two. Uh, I have already uploaded two videos on the shortcut keys and uh, long time back. Uh, as you can see on my YouTube channel, shortcut keys, go and watch these two videos. Uh, so there are like 10 to 15 uh, shortcut keys uh, which I have uh, discussed in these videos or maybe you can go to my website excelvblover.com and under the excel video section uh, you can look at this uh, category exposure shortcut keys part 1 and part 2 so this is going to be a part uh, 3 and uh, this is going to be a video number 144 so uh, these are the shortcut keys actually which we are going to discuss today and they are very helpful and uh, they are in fact uh, you know in day to day uh, your uh, when you are actually working on excel if you use excel very much then these are the shortcut keys one should be familiar with right so i'm going to discuss uh, about uh, your this first shortcut key which is find so find means when you want to find something uh, in this ribbon go to the home tab I'm using Excel 2010 so I believe it works uh, for 2007 and 2013 same so under this home tab you can click here and you can click here find right and this is actually this is a tab which we use to find something right suppose if I want to find uh, let's say uh, replace so you can click here and this will take you to the replace cell right so the shortcut key is control F right so I'm going to press control F and you can use this right and then whatever you want to find you want to find a J you can click here and it, it says it cannot find the data you're searching for because I don't have a J here so if I save 144 I click here find next it will take me to the 144 right that's simple uh, the next is again it's a part of replace what you want to find and then if you want to replace it with something right so that's the tab replace again it is available in this uh, home tab click on the home tab and then you can click on the replace so this window will pop up and then find what what you want to find and what you want to replace anyways this this video is not uh, to talk about the features uh, what exactly they do but we are going to talk about the shortcut keys so you can use the control H that is the shortcut key I'm going to press control H so you can see that this tab is activated and so basically find and replace both appears in the same tab it is just that when you press control F by default your find tab is on and when you press control H your replace tab is on right okay now let's um, let's go to the next uh, feature which is a go to so go to means when you click on the home tab you click on this find and select you have this go to either you can click go to or you can click on the go to special one and the same thing you can click here special and then it will take you to this window now this window is actually a very powerful window if you want to know what exactly you know uh, these features uh, are about then you can watch my uh, videos on demo videos uh, which is available in this uh, website and uh, you can watch all these videos uh, pay special with go to stylish go to and so this is all about like you know uh, I've discussed uh, in a detailed manner uh, when we actually use them right uh, so shortcut key is control G so when you press control G then you can see here this S is underlined so what does that mean uh, you can press alt S directly you know to go to this window so shortcut key is control G and when you press control G you will be on this tab so without using your mouse and clicking on this tab you can simply say alt S and it will take you this window so this is another shortcut key which we use a lot uh, this is the paste special so for the paste special you have alt plus e plus s so when you copy something for example I'm going to copy this now I want to paste its value so alt e s is a shortcut key and you can paste this value you can uh, do a lot of things you can transpose you can skip blank you can you know use the comment part only so there are n number of things if you are looking uh, for more details uh, maybe you can join my training or maybe you can 
go to this online classes demo videos and you can see here um, pay special with go to so this video talks about the pay special and uh, of course the go to feature right and i was explaining earlier find and replace you can watch this video as well so this video is available in uh, youtube channel as well which is uh, you can check all these videos uh, under my playlist category or you can simply type in excelvblover.com and using the shift uh, f2 uh, you can insert the comments as well right so this option if you use you can uh, record the comments as well right so you can write here uh, this is a video number 144 so comments are stored uh, are used uh, to store information that's it right okay now what is the next shortcut key a format cells so how do you want to format the cells for example uh, let's say I'm going to enter here date so if I want to format it uh, you know that there are a number of ways though you can right click here and you can go to the format cells but without going to the format cells where you know uh, without using the mouse you can even press Control one right so you will be on this sheet and then you can format whatever you want to format right so it's a very handy uh, key because we use it a lot right now let's uh, go ahead and uh, see how to select the entire row so it's quite simple you need to press shift plus spacebar for example I'm on this cell and I'm going to press shift plus spacebar plus means combination you don't have to press the plus sign means shift and spacebar so this entire row will be selected right uh, similarly you can uh, use control and spacebar this will actually select your entire column so whatever column you want to select just be on that cell cell of that column and press control spacebar and your entire column will be selected now the next is delete sheet so to delete the sheet you can press alt e l right for example i'm on sheet 3 the moment i'm going to press alt e l the sheet will be deleted right and it will not give you any pop-up because the sheet was blank if I'm going to add something here now if I delete this RTL this will actually ask you data may exist in the sheet to permanently delete the data press delete so if you want to delete it that's fine you press again uh, just press enter because by default your delete is on or maybe you can press tab and uh, you know you will be on the cancel so tab is actually used to uh, move within one tab to an another tab right so this sheet will be deleted how to rename the sheet so to rename the sheet you have a shortcut key alt o h r and now you will be directly on this sheet name and you can do that right so the shortcut key is alt plus o plus h plus r alt o h r right let me show this again alt o h r so the moment you press alt ohr this will be highlighted and then you can edit it right so um, how to go to the next sheet so we have if, if, if just in case you want to go to the next sheet uh, just keep your eye here I'm right away uh, right now I'm on the shortcut key the moment I press control page down I will be on sheet 4 if I again press control page down I will be on the sheet 5 and similarly if I want to go back I can press control page up so page up to uh, you know come to the previous sheet and page down to go to the next sheet right so this is how you can toggle between the shifts so shortcut key is control plus page down and uh, to, uh, to go to the previous sheet you have the shortcut key control plus uh, page up this is your shortcut key right pardon me for these uh, uppercase and lowercase but eventually my motive is simply to you know tell you the shortcut keys to educate you about the shortcut keys all right so second last uh, shortcut key which i'm going to talk about is row height so i'm talking about this if you want to increase the row height so you select the row and then you click here and then you go to this row height and then you can increase the row height like this but what is the shortcut key for this right so let me just undo this so the shortcut key is uh, you need to uh, let's say you want to change the height of this I'm going to select this row 
which means is alt h o and h similarly if you want to uh, it should be actually not the column height but column width so if you want to increase the column width then select the you know the column control space bar and then use alt h o w and you will see this window and you can then increase the column width as well look at this right so this is quite simple alt h plus o and for width we have w 